it was very difficult. It was hard to try to re-enter society. It's been a long road to higher education for Lauren Williams after incarceration. Williams was charged and convicted for involuntary vehicular manslaughter and spent the next 20 years without a roof over her head. It's almost like you go through double jeopardy. You go to jail, they say you're repaying your debt to society, and then you get out and everyone punishes you for ever having a mistake. Today, she's one of 21 UC Davis students turning their lives around through the Underground Scholars Initiative, designed to help formerly incarcerated students and others directly impacted by the justice system. A peer support model, meaning those of us like myself that are formerly incarcerated, really help others navigate reentry in the university system. We use our own experience to kind of give back. The program is being led by Gunnar Johnson, who knows firsthand the challenges that individuals and families face. Our student population generally does not have family support, so we try to fill that gap and provide some funding so that their time is valued and that they were able to be funded while they're doing their internships. Underground Scholars has funds to continue operating for three years at UC Davis, helping those like Williams. Sorry, it's been a real road. I hate to get emotional. <laughs> A few steps closer to their dreams. In Davis, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. In addition to running that program, Gunnar Johnson is also giving educational presentations for incarcerated students at four state prisons.